What's up everybody? Chlorine King here. Thanks for tuning in for another video. It's a beautiful Sunday. The temperature's great. We're actually heading out to go off-roading and I figured since I got a two-hour drive I may as well share some content with you guys. And today's video is about skimmer and another hack that will help uh, protect you guys with clients and also get a greater understanding of each pool uh, that fall in with these parameters. So what we're going to talk about today specifically is the reading and dosages section uh, of skimmer. Now, when I first had skimmer, I didn't realize that that section is 100% customizable um, to the end user's content. Uh, you can do whatever you want. You can add whatever reading you want, whatever dosage you want. It's all up to you. So we just got through the winter time where uh, clients were running their heaters nonstop at the tune of 22,000 degrees. And there were some pools we had a hard time managing because they were burning the chlorine off uh, quicker than we could keep it in there because the water was just so hot. So one thing we added to the uh, reading side of things was water temperature. So that way the technician can keep a running tab of the water temperature during the times where they're running their water or heater so much that it's just burning the chlorine off. So when a customer comes at you saying, hey, you know, you guys aren't taking care of my pool properly. It's, you know, has algae or cloudy or whatnot. You can say, well, actually, no, uh, Mr. Smith, you've been running your, your heater's been, uh, the water temperature has been no colder than 92 degrees for the last month and a half and we're having a hard time keeping chlorine in the pool chlorine burns off around 85 degrees give or take and so that way you can you know defend yourself and say well look it's because you're running your heater too much and that's why you're having a hard time uh with your pool and we're, why we're having a hard time because it's not fair that we need to put more chemicals in because you're running your heater so much that you're burning everything off we're putting in or, nor should we be responsible for having to clean up a green pool or correct um, cloudy water because, again, you're just running your heater all the time way more hotter than what chlorine can withstand in water. So that way, if a client says exactly that, hey, my pool's not looking right, you can pull up the records and say, well, look, you know, your water's been no colder than 92 degrees. Like I said earlier, you can email it to them, you can show them, and that way, you have your defense right there. And then you can say, hey, let's turn the heater off for a couple weeks to see how much pool, better the pool looks. Bam, you got the, you solved the problem, you've shown them, you know what you're talking about, and it all because you documented the water temperature and it's not a he said, she said, because I can assure you, if you tell them, hey, you've been running your water too hot lately, they're gonna say, no, I haven't. And you don't have any proof because you've been documenting it. So adding that reading on water temperature is paramount um, during the colder months. Another hack in the rating and dosage section that we use is under the dosage section, which my company, we don't share the dosages for a myriad of reasons. Um, but one thing we keep internally is the salt content or salt system output. Uh, that way we can monitor the salt system output throughout the year and find out, you know, trends of, you know, what's a good optimal salt output for different times of year for the pools. Uh, you know, cause as you know, Generally, during the winter time, we keep the salt systems turned down lower because chlorine lasts longer in colder water. People aren't swimming generally unless they have a heater, which is why you need to do the water temperature reading. Uh, or in the summertime, if, if a pool is struggling and we see we've been running the pool last summer at 60 percent and was having issues, hey, let's bump it up to 80 this summer and have more of a carefree issue with that pool. So. Those are two different uh, skimmer hacks um, in the reading and dosage section in particular that you are welcome to add and even expand on that with other different things. But those are the two that I wanna talk about specifically because those are two things that we run into every year. And of course the soul system we run into on a weekly basis. So stay tuned for more videos on skimmer, like and subscribe, and we'll see you next video. Have a great day.